hey guys now I was talking to my sister because we thought oh my god the New South Wales border just got closed but it didn't it's just, it was actually um, it was a businesses or something got closed so um, was quickly <laughs> then, no so I was quickly ringing my sister and she said that she was struggling to see some of the nappies so anyway <sighs> so yeah actually that's pretty good See, Jenna, oh, you know what the problem is, Jenna? Yeah. Jenna! Your yeah. belly's in the way. What's the noise? Your belly's in the way. <laughs> now, is our internet working? Because nobody is on. I'll come watch us. I'll come watch us too. There is a Although my phone is starting to go flat, hey? And, um, my little girl, well, my middle girl. Yeah, actually, so technically she's my little girl. Um, she said hello to me on one of the lives the other day. Um, I think it was cute. yesterday, and I didn't I didn't say, Hi, Bella. And, um, oh, Jesus, there you are. My okay. Girl, my they do this one person. It's me. <laughs> it loops so, doesn't it? It's fucking, oh, it's really weird. There we go. I'll just stand here like this. Jess, this is just for you. You know, it's funny. I said, oh, no, we'll go live a little bit earlier, and you can do me and ask me anything, make the questions, um real just don't make me cry no no one make her cry no one is no i'm cry. actually really close <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's been i a think lot we're all getting yeah. Yeah. I was say, it's, it's been tears. a lot of tears let's be honest mm. okay i'm gonna go in the group and tell people i already have oh well i missed that i know because i yelled at you to do it and you didn't and i'm like well i didn't hear this you. is why you're fired <laughs> well i didn't hear you fine i'm going away and i'm not gonna come to work for 10 months <laughs> i wouldn't i'd like to point out i went on maternity leave earlier this week it didn't work <laughs> You weren't supposed to go on maternity leave for another two weeks. Yeah, I know. Let's Three. Yes. Go on. Anything. Oh, I might not have, um, you might actually have to look for questions because I'm on, I haven't set it up. So. Oh, dearie, dearie me. Can you go make a coffee? Yes, I made the coffee. How great is Karen? Karen is actually fucking amazing. There you go. I said it. Um, you have just absolutely stepped up, and I know that you're. You've had a few tears today too, and you're Thank absolutely you. Did you post stressing it in out. The group or, oh, there it is. Never mind. No, no, it's it is now. there. I didn't get it. Um, yeah, I know that you. You're really, really stressing out over um, what is happening. But the only thing that I can guarantee is that I'm here, and I will support you as best I can. And I'll <laughs> see how it's time to get sad. Don't cry. No, I'll hug no. you. I'll rub my don't, baby on you. Don't hug me. Don't, I'm I'll not rub a touch my baby on you. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not a touchy person at all. Please don't. <laughs> Do you want to feel a baby part? Uh, what's There's the, a baby part sticking out here. Is there? Oh, how funny. No, it's it's really tough when I I care about my staff. She so, does. She does. Don't, yeah. It's why she gets upset when she makes us cry. <laughs> <laughs> it's why I don't come into work when I'm in a really bad mood because I don't like making people cry. And when, you know, it's not fair that other people have to put up with my shit because I'm I'm not, a look, it's why I'm, I'm a huge mental health advocate because uh, actually right now I'm really not okay and it's not about like literally right now. I, I haven't been okay for quite a long time. And, um... Anyway, that, look, I'm not ready to talk about that yet, but, you know, when I've got a lot of friends, I've got a beautiful support network that are helping me get through some tough times at the moment, um, but, yeah, I'm just so, I'm so worried for my staff. And, no, um, should we stop with the crying We already? should. How about yeah, you get on to Dem so it's much okay. <laughs> We've had a system. We do a live video. One of us cries, we do another live video, someone oh, else cries, dear. then we stop crying. You broke the system. I did, I did. We're meant to stop the crying now. We're being happy. Yes. So, all we can do Ask me anything that's <laughs> not going to make me cry. <laughs> How does that sound? I think we're getting pretty close to um, the time that we scheduled this for anyway. Oh, it is, it's spot on four o'clock. But, um, and see, now I need to go blow my nose, um, which my sister found really funny. <laughs> Ah, oh, dearie, dearie me. Um, okay, here we go. So, 
And also, I'm going to do a huge shout out to my friends who I just keep seeing. Look, they're probably not watching the lives. Most of them are my stage of life. They're past their um, their baby years, and um, I just want to say thank you for popping past and um, you know just kind of even just tuning in to see oh what on earth is she doing live um, on the business. You know that's how you support small small business, and it is incredibly. Um, I, I appreciate oh. it so much I can't even Wait. put it into words I'm going to piggyback on that because my really good friends okay Karen's forced to watch but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Karen's forced to watch but my really good friends have been jumping in and out yeah. all day too and supporting me and yeah. they must be really sick of hearing my voice they hear it all and the, the and time look, this is the si- and this they is the all use time. cloths so they fucking know what they look yeah, like yeah, yeah. this is the sixth but time but they come and they support me and yeah. they're nice and I like and them that's, that's um, they're good yeah that's very them. much appreciated no. So, um, yes. Uh, so nobody asked me anything. Oh, where are the white wipes on the site? <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Megan wants to buy some wipes that I need to see. Oh, actually, way. hang on. Truth be told. Truth be told. If I... If someone is really, really nice to me. One. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that we have two packs. I told you they were low. I just said they were low, buy them and I'll take them home with me. There you go, Megan. Two packs, um, because we've actually upgraded. So um, with any of the um, the bulk packs, they always come with, um, we make it a bit, uh, what's the word? Erogenous? Is that the word? Like, we don't actually Erogenous is not oh, I don't think that's I'm pretty no. sure that's like an erogenous yeah, yeah, no. no, like in the birds to tell the packs, we say it comes with a cloth wipes pack. Oh, um, you know the word, that word that I'm looking for. Um, vague. Let's just go vague. vague. We go vague because it depends what wipes we've got in stock at the time. So um, these are running really low. So I'm actually upgrading them to the bamboo the lure wipes. So you get the same amount of wipes, but you just get um, different wipes. So um, yeah, that's yeah. Literally Can Megan buy those? And I'm going to take them home with me. For. Okay. No worries. <laughs> but yeah, better tell them how they actually come with wipes. I uh, like a wipes pack in there. So um, th- hence the reason that I only have two. I might have three. I don't know how many um, packs I've got physically made up, but we have got lots and lots of bamboo velour wipes, which means if you're getting a birth to toddler pack, you're actually getting the bamboo velour wipes, which are, Mid. they're actually, well, they're more expensive too. Yeah. So they're yeah, it's actually really, really, if you've yeah. ever touched a, a bamboo delight, they've made of the same velour as them. And yeah. I freaking love them. Ryan was a really rashy kid. And I always loved those when I had, when he, whenever he had a rash, they were like yeah, so soft, lovely yeah. and soft, they're gorgeous. I know. I, like, oh, maybe I'm going to be a pocket cliche. I need to pee before we start. Oh the my gosh. Anyway, okay, so do we have any other ask me anything? How many times did you pee today? How many? <laughs> um, you need them. Okay, so Megan, they're yours. Okay, there was no other ask me anything. So yes, very much. Thank you for the year support. Um, you know, for just tuning in. Um, because you know, sometimes it does feel like we're just talking to nobody. Um, which is kind of like now because there's nobody in the room, and um, it's a delay, so there's nothing popping up on the screen, and I really am talking to no one. Um, my husband is due to come in very soon, so um, I do apologise in advance for. Um, the fact that he'll probably come in like and not really <laughs> not kind of realize how we've set up here so um uh do 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 how long does it take for a pregnant woman to pee that's a really good question did anybody time that what yeah <laughs> there you go i said how long does it take for a pregnant woman to pee <laughs> oh, oh no because yeah. of all the wet bags in there we've actually got because we run out of space we've got twisty stands <laughs> Yeah, of wet bags. I don't in the toilet. No, you know what it is? It's that great thing near the end of pregnancy where you're dying and you need to pee, and you go yeah. and it's like trickle. Yes, and that's all that's it. It's very disappointing. And is everyone else's hands really dry? I need some um, uh, moisturizer. It's <laughs> from washing them so much lately. I'm just like it just reminds me of a um, moisturize me, moisturize me. Was that Doctor Who? Nah. <laughs> Anybody who I'm about to get fired do- again. Yeah, Doctor Who I'm episode. No, moisturize me, moisturize it. Oh, come on. She was the last one. She was the last, oh, no. she was the last, last human ever. How do you boost a Bam Bam? We can answer that question. Shall we talk about Bam Bams first? Yeah. No, <laughs> actually, no. Do do in order because we went, like, mm. really, really long last time. So. Yeah, we're going to go shorter this time. 
Because we're tired, we're losing our minds, and we and need to go home, and we're crying. When no. Vicky cries, no, when Vicky cries, there's a problem. Yeah, see, I cry all the time. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah, no. Not pregnant, pregnant, I cry all the time. That's easy. I'm a harder. Yeah. Oh, fuck it, fine, she's not really. She likes to think she is. She's kind of full of shit. Um, I'm not yes. worried about getting <laughs> You're welcome. I'm not worried about getting fired. Okay. So let's try and keep it under an hour this time. When are you due? Uh, first week of May, which is all kind of horrifying and scary at the moment, and really, crying. really focusing no, on keeping. Make you cry. Really, yes. really focusing on keeping me and my husband and my son healthy right now, so that we can all be together and everything can be okay. Been spending the last week getting my head around. Um, uh, getting my head around how this is going to be different. Um, then I'd hoped and I know there's a lot of pregnant women going through that at the same time my heart goes out to all of you it's a, it's tough at the moment and it's scary and but we're yeah. in it together we're in it together 100% yeah. yeah everyone's going through it reach out talk to your friends we're all scared it's okay okay we're done with the mental health hour now but to answer your question <laughs> to answer your question for early May I'm 33 weeks now and I'm getting uncomfortable and this whole uh Pregnant with a toddler thing is no joke. Oh, you're due oh, today! Oh, Congratulations! That's so exciting. I have no advice on how to make that come out because I was induced with my last kid. The only, it's actually the thing I'm most scared about is like, well, now there's new things to be scared about, but generally speaking, before that. Um, oh, Katrina's due. I didn't know she was pregnant. Oh, I did because she got just catched and I was like, haha. Oh, wait, no, wait, actually, I think I did. Yeah. There's a lot of, pre I think she said something and now I'm, my brain is small. Um, <laughs> yay! This is one thing that's fun about working in like cloth nappies is there's freaking like babies and pregnant women everywhere, which is a lot of fun. And we always find out first, and we always know the gender before anybody else. Yeah, if that's true. If they're gendered colored yes. nappies, we know. And did you notice what I put up there? In fairness, I dare you to go through my cloth nappy stash and pick out what gender my kid is. No, but I put that one there just for you. This one's my favorite. My son, I'm a big fan of uh, boys in florals and boys in pink, and my son owns a lot of pink nappies. Um, and my dad reckons it's his racing color, because my dad used to race motorbikes in pink, and he reckons pink is a racing color. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get to it. Now. Whew. We're all done crying? Okay, cool. Okay, so we're going to start with... Some newborn nappies. We're gonna talk, go through the nappies. We won't go as detailed as we did in the last couple of ones because Vicky and I need to go home. <laughs> we're tired. We're losing the plot and we keep crying. Um, oh yes, me too, me too, me too. I had Bam Bams with my, um, with my first, but not till he was a couple of months old. I only got them like a little late. So I really loved them, but I didn't get to use them in the early, early days. And Pebbles weren't around. So I'm really excited to use them for him. Um, we've actually, I've discussed it with my husband and the plan is so far is, yes, I love that Katrina. Um, <laughs> my plan this time is out of me and into a baby. Oh, Andrew, go away. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew Vicky's husband just called in the middle of a live and it called on her computer. Um, and um, yeah, I'm really, really excited um, to go straight into cloth this time with this kid. Um, my husband, I told him he can pick a Bam Bam or a Pebble to start what nappy you want to go first. And he's excited. He wants to go with a Bam Bam for his first nappy. So I need to go home and do some making him practice, don't I? That's a good idea. Okay. Let us talk about nappies. Okay. Let's start with... A pebble. This is our all-in-one newborn nappy, as the name. Oh, loud! Lol. <laughs> They're ringing. <laughs> yes. Ring yes. Well, let's blame Andrew for that, shall we? Um, Andrew's in trouble. Um, no, the dogs are in trouble. They ran away, and it's got my phone number. Ah, the dogs are in trouble. Um, now, but it's getting a bit bigger. I'm wondering if the difference between bamboo delights and nest nappies bigs. That's all right. Oh. Would you want all? As you go along, I'll well, be ready. I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll come to yeah, we're getting That's a great started. question, but yeah. we will get to that. Okay, so let's just start talking and then we'll get to those. Okay, so this is our, look how tiny it looks. Does it fit? Um, this is our all-in-one newborn nappy. It's called a Pebble. It's based on Vicky's original nappy design many, 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 many years ago. I mean, she's young and beautiful. Um, and 
As the name suggests, it's all in one piece. So if you're doing your laundry, you don't have to go find pieces and match them up and there's no hoo-ha. It's a really great caregiver nappy um, because they're really easy to handle. So they have this tongue that comes out for better drying time if you're doing winter. Um, and these are made of a, the absorbent part is made of a bamboo cotton blend. It's a custom milled one. We do really, really high quality and a really good balance between uh, cotton makes it super durable and the bamboo makes it super absorbent. So it's a good balance between those two things to make, get a really good nappy. It has these lovely soft roll-in elastics which create a really good poo barrier. You just give it a little bit of a pull and it rolls in. Gives you a really good poo barrier um, with newborns. As we all know, newborn poo is super fun. Um, it's lovely and explosive. Now, um, we've got this, sorry, I'm going to try and hold this up a bit more. Um, these are Velcro closures, so they're nice and easy to do for grandparents that might have arthritic hands or um, anyone who's, if you have a husband who's a bit reticent to cloth nappies, these are super easy to use as close as you're going to get to a disposable, but you just have to wash it. So they're fantastic. If you fold them over like this and like this and like this. And then you've got your nappy and it's all ready to go in the wash. And who the hell is coming home now? <laughs> Sorry. Vicky's dogs decided to go missing during our live because that's super helpful. Um, so, um, so the pros and cons with this one. Pro, they're super, super easy to use. They're fantastic for when you're tired, you're out and about. Not that anyone's out and about at the moment. Um, you've got carers, aunts, uncles wanting to help out, anything like that. They're lovely and soft with their minky inside. I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> Sorry, I thought I was going to sneeze, which I don't think, I think might be against the law at this point. Um, they've got lovely soft minky inside and... Um, do they have laundry tabs? Yes, they do. They have, as all good uh, Velcro nappies should have, they have a laundry tab, so you just fold it down here on either side, so as it goes through the wash, it doesn't get caught on anything. They also have crossover tabs, which means when you put it on, you can cross it all the way over, which makes it fit all the way down to two kilos, and all the way um, up to five kilos, which is about two or three months for most kids. So they are a smaller fit, they are a smaller fit, um, as they're a newborn nappy and we want them to fit from birth with like almost all kids. So Don't fail, dogs are found. Dogs found <laughs> Which means we should stop getting interrupted as well. Um, <laughs> so the pros are they're super easy to use. The closest you're gonna get to disposable you just have to wash it. Cons is they don't have the size range that the Bam Bams we're about to talk about have. Um, and they don't have the two layers of protection that the Bam Bams have. Um, but they're super, oh, and another pro, let's face it, they're super cute. They come in all of our candy prints. So they come in P.U.L. and Minky, and they also come in solids, and they're just freaking adorable. I love them for a baby shower gift. I often give them with the matching mini wet bag, which is super cute, um, because they're a lot of fun, and they're very sweet, and I really, really like them. They're a really, um, really good gateway nappy as well. They get people over the door, um, like over the line with cloth to try it, and then they realize how easy it is, and they fall in love with a variety of products then. So that is the pebble. Let's put him down here and talk about the Bam Bam. Now the question um, that is going to come up with Ooh. this. Um, Wait, no, there was one about boosting a pebble as well. Yeah. Someone asked if you can boost a okay, pebble. Okay, so yeah, go through this and then there's a couple of questions about Bam Bam, so don't move on. Cool. Okay. Can you boost a pebble? No, not really. Is there a way to boost a pebble that I don't know about? Uh, you could technically yeah, get a face washer. And You've got a finite amount of space in there. Yeah. You're gonna struggle. You could technically do this, get a face washer and pop it in there between the tongue like that. As long as you can get that leg. As long as you can get that leg still. Yeah, I think you can. You could put a face washer in, but nothing much bulkier than that. You could still get that closed. But the honest answer is no, not really. That's that's a con, that's of, a con of a pebble. Yeah. yeah, is that they're just it's not that, all all in, ones, all, all in ones. Yeah, and that's why we don't sell uh, like larger all in ones for older kids because they're just not. As practical, you can't boost them in that same oh, way. Oh no, we, there are other reasons, and I could post the picture. It's in the VIP group. What picture? Oh, dear. oh have you not seen the? Have you not seen Abby's poo picture? I don't want to see Abby's poo picture. I'm good. Oh. <laughs> okay. Go into the VIP group, grab that picture, and post it. I know she can. <laughs> yeah. um. That's why we don't make a, a, a bigger version 
of the pebble. Yeah, they're just they they work for newborns, but they don't work as they get bigger. So they're just not the practical option for that. So no, you can't really boost a pebble. This is why we love the Bam Bam. Um, so this is Vicky's baby. This is Vicky's absolute favorite product in the world. It is awesome, and I'm very excited to use them on my new bub. Um, they are a fitted nappy and they're a newborn nappy so they fit from 1.2 kilo which is a micro prem all the way up to eight kilos which usually is four to six months for most average kids um and they are a fitted nappy so they absorb they are all layers are absorbent and they're absorbent all the way around so bubby's doing tummy time or cuddling you've got absorbency all the way around whichever way the pee falls which is fantastic now they don't do up with snaps or velcro they do up with a snappy um and um sorry excuse me i have this massive baby brain at the moment um so what this means is they'll fit every baby every time and that's what we love about them is you can really really adjust the fit to what your baby needs and it's really really customizable but unlike a pre-fold or a flat it has these elastics that give you a really good poo seal so it's just they're a really good balance of the best of both worlds in like ease of use and customizability of fit customization of fit um so you can even get them and what you can do is fold them oops, up right here fold them way down like that and then you can bring the wings over bring the wings over like this like this and look how tiny that comes down and that is really why we say they fit every baby every time is because you, you can really customize the fit and what you do with the snappy is you go from hip um to hip and then you pull down. This is a little easier to do when you've got a bub in there to make a Y shape and use the snappy instead of pins or anything like that because we don't use those anymore. They're painful and they hurt you and baby. Um, you can use boingos. We don't sell boingos. Oh, yes. We don't have snappies. Was that, can you get boingos in Australia? Uh, like? Yeah, Nest have them. Oh, Nest have them. Yeah, you can get boingos, which are kind of like two individual snappies kind of thing instead of being a y shape one they're little individual ones so um but what we sell as snappies if we can get them in the country right now um we have lots of pink snappies is that right <laughs> Lots is, is the word that is the. Problem. We have some. <laughs> any orders, actually, any orders that do have mm. snappies in them are going out without the snappies. Um, oh that's yeah. How, like, I just, I just don't care. I want to get mm. your nappies because you can make do without a snappy. You can't make do without a nappy. So. Yep. And oh this. Oh my god. Oh, and actually, um, obviously like, people are trying to keep ho keep home and stuff at the moment, but Big W and I believe Kmart or Target, um, uh, sell snappies. It's not the same they're not brand, they're not so snappy brands I, I will say they're not snappy brands I have some they did break before my snappy brand snappies did they're definitely not as good but if you're really stuck in a pinch but we're, they're we're, there. we're literally days away from getting yeah. the snappies but the orders have to go out because I do not know what's gonna happen with mm. with freight. yeah if so, you that's yeah. like backup plan if you're really stuck but what we're doing is we're getting everything out and then when the snappies get here, we're sending those in uh, envelopes because they can go in envelopes. Yeah. But anyway, so the Bam Bams, the other, the great thing about the Bam Bams is they're a two-part system. Now this often scares people because it looks like a lot of work, but we know lots of people who start out with pebbles because they look easier. And Best as soon as they Joe. try, yep, Joe. <laughs> Joe is the reason I own 30, 40 pebbles. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's a it's a timeshare stash, my newborn stash. Um, and, they're a two-part system, which looks a little scary to start with, but it actually is really great. It means they're bulletproof. What it means is that the poo, when you have a poo -nami, it needs to escape these elastics, and then it needs to escape this cover. Now, think about a disposable. A disposable has elastics that are a string. Cloth nappies have two to three mil elastics in here, and these six. ones... Six? On the inside ones? Six. Are they six mil on the inside they're ones? six mil. Yeah. Oh, and how much are these ones? Six uh, well that, that is I know they're technically, but about, about six. But yeah, yeah these are a bit close to a centimeter. Yeah, so, and then about a 10 centimeter fold over elastic here, which is a little bit different, but I'll just hold that up for you. It's nice and soft on Bob's legs. But the point is, you will get a really, you're right, my belly isn't. <laughs> yeah, you can't. I can't, I can't move that camera any closer no. with that computer any closer. That's all good. Um, <laughs> So then you put the cover at the top, and this is your waterproofing part because the Bam Bam isn't waterproof at all. It's all absorbent. This is your waterproof part. It's a PUL gusseted cover. So what that means is it has a polyurethane laminate coating that makes it waterproof, and it has these 
double gusseted. There we go. Um, leg holes. And what that means is you can get, and it, this is not about both of those gussets touching the legs. What it is, is about this pulling the right direction to give you a really good seal around the leg. So our covers, you'll note, are a little bit larger than some of the other newborn ones on the market. And that is fantastic. You can still get a really tiny fit there. Um, but they grow with bub up to the eight kilos of the Bam Bam fit. So they will last you the whole time and have that greater longevity um, than most uh, newborn nappies have, which is a problem with newborn nappies. Now, we are very proud of the Bam Bams. The Bam Bams have won best newborn cloth nappy for like four years in a row since they started doing cloth nappy awards, basically. And what we're really proud of is they have won twice now, and they've only done it twice, um, the retailer choice for newborn nappies. And that means a lot to us because our retailers really, we really value our retailers and they're the ones who are looking at all of the different um, newborn nappies and playing with them and seeing, getting customer feedback on all the different brands. And this is their pick for newborn nappies. And that really does, that's really an opinion we value a lot and we really appreciate that because we are very, very proud of this product and we think it is fantastic. Now, one thing I will say is I would never recommend a full stash of pebbles because they are a fantastic nappy, but they're a fantastic nappy for certain type, certain times, certain places. These ones, Bam Bams, are your bulletproof ones. So I would always recommend if you're getting 24, 20 of these, four of these, if you're getting 36, 30 of these, six of these kind of thing, you want, definitely grab a few of these, but I would not recommend a whole stash of pebbles. They're to make life easier for helpers and to make life easier when you're half asleep, but these should be your base cloth nappy stash, I believe. They're a fantastic product. Now, I did see a question about boosting. No, there was, no, there was a, couple of, okay. a couple of questions before that. So Katrina yep, has asked, um, it's, it's just a little bit more appropriate first mm -hmm. before Iris. Um, but what about going over the umbilical stump? Oh, oh um, yes. So. Do you fold down outwards when you do the? I do. Okay, cool. I tend to. That's what I thought so. Okay, so the way I was showing you how to it fold really it down for a little tiny bub, and I think Karen might have linked a video where Vicky does this, or she will shortly, is you can fold this down, and that helps it go under the umbilical stub like that, like this, and then you can fold this down like this, and this down, and you put it at a bit of an angle like that, and you can get it down around the umbilical stump. Um, one of the really nice things about our covers is if you have a look here, this Velcro looks like it's quite far down, but actually there's a reason it's quite far down. And that is so when you put it on, you can fold that down and that's nice and soft against bub and doesn't rub on them and keeps them nice and low around the umbilical stub. Yeah. And the other one, um, so Iris' question was that she loved the Bam Bams, uh, but now Bub's is bigger and she's wondering the difference between the Bamboo Delights and the Nest Big. So whilst okay. you're not gonna get into uh, yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Oh, just holding it up. Oh, no, no, yeah, I was gonna say, do you wanna explain what a big is? Um, yes, so a big is, we don't have any here, do we? No, we don't sell them. Um, exclusive to Ness. Yes, bigs are exclusive to Ness. They are the Bam Bam is grown up, and they are a bigger size of Bam Bam, and they're a fabulous product. I own a couple myself, and I really like them. Um, I really like them for a day nappy in summer when my son was a toddler and like running around outside and stuff like that. They're really great. Um, the Bamboo Delights are a Bamboo Velour and they have inside a trifold with that same bamboo cotton blend that we talked about before. So this folds into three and you got the same bamboo cotton blend. The bamboo, the bamboo delights are more absorbent than the bigs. Um, that's the pro for them. The big, um, because it fits with a snappy and not with snaps has a more customizable fit. Definitely. Um, but the bamboo delights because they do up with a snap have an easier fit. So, Neither is better. As with most things, it depends on what you're after. It depends on your kid. It depends on what you're doing with it, um, which is the best option for you. Um, but that's the differences between the two. Any other major differences I left off there? No, that's, no. that's, that's, that's the big really ones. The, the major thing. Both, yeah. Essentially, they, they both they're both fitted nappies yeah really they're both fitted nappies that work really well for night nappies because they're a fitted nappy that you can boost on the outside put a cover on and use as a night nappy um they're both pretty trim i'd say the big's a smidge trimmer the bamboo delight is a bit more absorbent the big is a bit more flexible with fit and the bamboo delight is a little bit easier to Sorry, fit if anything the delight it would be a little the tiniest bit more stay dry because of just the, the mm, pile yeah and also if you're in far north queensland or a, a humid climate it's easier to get away without a cover because it's a snap. Um, a true, snap on true, the delight. True. Like if, if you know, true. You're I think just trying to. Pick. Yeah, I was gonna say the little tiny differences between. Yeah. I'd say the big has a slightly quicker drying time. Yep. Um, yeah. and the, because the bamboo delight is a bit more absorbent and it's a bit thicker, so. Mm. 
pros, cons. I've got both. I like them. I know I liked my bigs for daytime running around in the backyard, bit of freedom there with the toddler, and I like my bamboo delights for my night nappy. See, whereas but that's I found, my I found personal that the snappies without a cover, so oh. the bam bams yeah. without a cover, the snappy can get caught. See, I see. By that point, he was running over his t- mm. two and running around. I wasn't carrying I him. Back then, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I, he was about two. I've got this great photo of him in the backyard wearing them, and that's what we used to. I used to use them for, is just just in case he pooed, so it didn't get anywhere. Um, but yes, I wasn't doing the whole hip hugging, mm. snappy getting caught on me thing that um, is always fun. So, um, I boost. Up the stairs. Pardon? I just feel like I should sit up the stairs. <laughs> um, so let's talk about was that how to boost a bam bam was that the next yeah, question how to I was up to? A bam bam. Okay, so let's pretend that you have a really lovely baby. Are you listening? And that you're sleeping, and the baby's starting to sleep like six eight hours from the start, and that's really nice of them. Um, you might want to boost your bam bams. Um, so we've got our bam bam here. Basically, boosting just means adding absorbency to anything. So let's grab a face washer. Everyone gets given a hundred and fifty two face washers for a baby shower. It's way more than we need. They're really absorbent and really great for boosting. We're big, big believers in using what you have already. You don't have to go out and buy specific things. If you uh, bought a birth to toddler pack and you already have your candies around, the boosters are fantastic to use for this too. So let's pretend you have a boy like I'm having. And you put it at the front. Girl boost underneath. And also if you don't need the targeted absorbency, you can boost it by wrapping it around the bulb like that. So you wrap it around and then you pop it in the cover. This is the basic for how we, Andrew's here. Um, <laughs> this is the basics for how we boost our night nappies, our bam bams, all the things. So then we put the cover on like this and like this. And that's how you boost your bam bam. So basically most kids will outgrow before they, nope, I did it again wrong, out wet before they outgrow their bam bams. So boosting them is a really good thing to do as bub gets, starts to wet a little bit too much. Um, and, um, Hello. um, as Bob starts a little, I never mind my computer anyway. What about, yeah, don't worry. I already announced it. when he was going to be on camera, that's all. Everyone, everyone, this is Andrew. We're going to see his feet. He likes to be mysterious, but, oh, yes, we saw his feet. <laughs> we saw his feet. Andrew likes to hide from the camera and we like to torment him. <laughs> is that, was that a good summary? Um, but yeah, boosting bam is really important as they get a bit older, because generally they'll still fit them, but they might start out wetting them. Or if you have a baby that is sleeping quite well through the night from the beginning, one, I'm jealous, and two, this is how you boost your bam bam to get through that. Um, actually, I have two friends who've had their new, who have like, we're very sad, they're coming up in a year and we're all trying to emotionally handle that, but they're like nine and 11 months, I think. Um, and they have both been really liking the Bamboo Delights as night nappies. Um, without boosting yet, because the bubs are quite small still. So, um, but yeah, they're fantastic. I know Megan's been going nuts for bamboo delights this time around. Mm, yes. <laughs> you like? I know. I keep taking her on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um. So yeah, that's the bam bams. Do we have any other questions before I move on to candies? Um. No, that looks like. <laughs> no, looking at Karen's. Oh, you blew Katrina's mind over the. Um, over the cover, but just, you know, this is, um, I suppose, just indicative of mum made products rather than, um, oh. you know, it's, yeah. it's the little things that's, and that's I, the thing is, there's so the much detail that Vicky's put into so many yeah. products because she knows how things, she, yeah. all those little things. I can't go into every tiny piece. We could talk about the elastics. We could talk about the laundry tabs. We could talk about the fact that the Velcro is now cut rounded so it catches less. There is so many details and, this all comes and every customer feedback so mm. if you ever have feedback please just just be kind that's all we ever ask yes we we, we like customer feedback kindness. yes we like customer feedback we make changes and we love listening to you and we love hearing about you be nice yeah. be nice yeah, we're, we're remember people. we're trying our best to more people and we're just trying to we're trying to do our best and our job our goal is never to rip anyone off or do anything wrong so just be nice to us we have feelings, and if you don't believe that, go back to the top, top of the video where everyone cried. Um, <laughs> you don't want to make that happen, do you? You don't want to make Vicky cry. But yes. Okay, so... We're doing it again. <laughs> the wall is up. <laughs> the wall's back up. Andrew, she cried. <laughs> um, so, 
Let's talk about the candy then. This is, now I said the Bam Bams were Vicky's favorite. These are my favorite. I love these. Um, I came, I know I'm biased now, um, but when I came to the company, I was a customer that had tried 15 different all-in twos because um, I'm insane. Obsessive. <laughs> Obsessive, that's a good word. Uh, <laughs> Karen's virtually crying. Andrew, did you want to cry? We're all having a cry. Uh, I'll email it to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's, god, he will find, he will find, he will look for the next 20 minutes if, for a, for a, um, If you didn't hear that, Andrew just said, I'll email it to you. He'll find it. He doesn't even use emojis. Uh, <laughs> no, he does. I, oh no, wait, I picked an emoji once to send to Karen <laughs> from his phone. Yeah, but he doesn't do uh, socials and he doesn't do emojis. I couldn't get the candies to work for Teddy as well as I was like, mm. Oh, that's what, oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, Megan was having um, troubles with leaks with her candies because he was still like leaking down the side and all over the place. So she tried Bamboo Delights during the day and loved them. He's oh, now on to candies. Okay. He's now on to candies, but there was a few months there where she was having a weird fit issue. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, she yeah she said full-time full -time Bamboo Delights are underrated. They're definitely, I need to get more. I need to, I'm going to celery sacrifice. To, colors. Nice to, I want a celery sacrifice to get this purple because uh, if I try to explain why my husband, we need another bam bam, bam bam's light, he'll neck me. Um, Have you seen the blue and the pink and the green that arrived? The three new colors? Oh, yeah. Grab the pink. The pink is pretty. Oh, because it's brand new. No. Oh, no, it is. It is. It is. Um, the green. And what was the other one? Was it orange? Oh, no, blue. There it is. Why'd you have my blue? These are the new Bamboo Delight colors. Let's just have a look at these. We've got these. Vicky, do you have any idea what the names are? Is this Bluebell? Yes. Bluebell? Cool. Yes. yes. Uh, Bluebell. We've got <laughs> Blossom, <laughs> which I really, really like. Do I want the pink one or the purple one? Someone make a decision for me. Uh, purples are mine to Katrina. And here we have um, this green one as well, which is called... Vicky, what's the green one called? Meadow. Meadow. <laughs> It's called Meadow. You'd think I wouldn't be the person who photoshops these and names them and put them on the website. Um, this one's called Meadow. This is really vibrant, really fun. My friend's daughter loves green. She'd love this. Personally, I'm going between these two. We'll see which one I need. Which one do I need? Oh, Brielle says, hi, Jenny. Hi, <laughs> Brielle. Brielle is the sweetest little thing. She is Megan's daughter, and she has the cutest little blonde curls, and she is one of our models, and she is just stunning. She's probably, oh, you can't see, but she's on the wall over there. Um, I'm scared to touch the computer and mess it up. Anywho, let's move on to what we're meant to be talking about. Whew. Um, get purple so I can love it through you. Okay. Sorry, I left my phone in here. Um, so let's talk about uh, candies. What I was saying was I have tried, <laughs> it's very distracting. I'm having enough trouble concentrating. Um, I have tried a lot of all in two nappies uh, when I first had Ryan because I'm insane. Um, and this was my absolute favorite. Oh, I will come back to that question, Ira. Um, <clears throat> this is my absolute favorite. This is an all in two, one size fits most, which means it fits most kids most of the time. Fits from about four and a half, five kilo as well, all the way to 15. So it's basically near birth to toilet training. Um, so by near birth, what we mean is we have a video that, um, if she hasn't linked it yet, uh, Karen's about to, uh, to fitting a, a candy on a 3.2 kilo newborn. Now, keep in mind, Vicky's been doing this for 15 years and made the nappies and used them on her kids and all that stuff. So she's really, really good. Um, that's why we can get it on a 3.2 kilo baby, but we don't guarantee it till four and a half to five kilos. Um, that's when you'll get a good fit. Um, now, um, so there are some pros and cons to going with newborn versus one size fits most. Obviously the biggest pro of going straight to one size fits most is money. You'll save money. Um, some of the pros to grabbing newborns first is um, in the first three months, I'm not enjoying this fact as much as I normally do when I tell people when I'm not pregnant. Um, uh, in the first three months, I and all the other pregnant mothers out there are going to change around a thousand nappies. So what that does is that really takes that wear and tear off your one size fits most stash that needs to get through the next two and a half years and puts it on your newborn stash and spreads it out a bit more. The other thing is you're more likely to get a better fit 
which means less leaks and less bulk under clothes with newborn nappies than you will if you go straight to one size fits most. But the answer is if budget is your absolute biggest concern and you want to buy from an Australian company and buy ethically made and everything and you are struggling budget wise, go straight to one size fits most. It can be done. And we have some really great videos out there showing you how to do that. Now, oh, thank you. Yeah, you know Should what I this is? Yeah, yeah. Version two, version one. Yeah, yeah, this did, is a faulty did, version. Did you one. see the question comes through? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Well, I heard you and cool. I thought, oh, hang on, I've got one of these. Cool. Oh, I will finish my candy no, 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 and I'll come back to it. No, no, no. I, I, so I've got it in my head. Don't let me forget it, though. Well, no, oh, it's right there. No, it's right, right there. I can't. Oh. Um, okay, so an all-in-two, as the name suggests, I've got like a whole audience here of Simpsons now, by the way. <laughs> if I wasn't brain dead before and nervous, now I am. Um, Cause they're looking to take your job. One between, what are they, which job are they taking? Yeah. Hey. Do they want to give birth to me? That'd be great. No, did you, did you know that Arabella wants to take over the business? Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. I plan on being retired by that point, I hope. Anywho, focus. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> and all in two, as the name suggests, comes in two pieces. So we've got our absorbent part and our waterproof part. All cloth nappies have an absorbent and a waterproof part. And it all kind of, the only difference between different nappies is pretty much um, how that is structured. Don't worry, don't worry, I've got it. We've sorry, got it sorry, sorry. <laughs> if I sorry. could turn them off to stop distracting you, I would, <laughs> and I'm gonna try and do that. Okay, you turn them off. No. All good, I'll stop looking, I'm focusing on me. I'll just talk to my own head. Um, so. Basically our absorbent part, we have a trifold. So the trifold is fantastic because it has a lot more surface area than a lot of the other ones you'll see out there. A lot of other all in twos have what I would call a snake fold that comes out. And that means you have a lot more layers all clumped together instead of spread out. This surface area is really great for two reasons. It's great for um, drying time, which if you're due in winter and you're having trouble with your drying time if you're living in Melbourne and not Queensland even over summer um, you may have trouble with your drying time and that's where this um, increased surface area of a trifold versus snake insert um, really shines the other thing is it's more washable you have less layers all stacked together that you're trying to clean and get through and um, it's a lot more easy a lot more easy in great English now um, it's a lot easier to oh we can see Andrew again <laughs> As you look, you can get yeah, everyone wave, everyone wave, nice. come, come say bye. These are my two little ones. Hi. Hi. Do you know, and I promise, Hi. this is Bella and Gabe, I promised that I would spend some time with them, but you know, I have a feeling I'm going to be spending the whole term with them very soon. <laughs> <laughs> and she's really excited about them and can't wait. I know. They're gone. I don't think she is. <laughs> yes. Um, I've already pulled my son out of daycare and I missed that. Um, anyway. Um, so the trifold makes it much easier to wash it because you've got that increased surface area. It's much easier to get a good wash on it. So it's much more forgiving. That's what it is. So that's fantastic. Now we, it comes with the trifold that snaps in. So no pockets, which I don't know about anyone else, but I can't stand pockets. You've got to pull them out when they're dirty. My husband can't get his hand in to stuff them. Pockets are not a big, not, not a favorable thing in our house. And this is your booster. What your booster does is that gives you a magic longevity for your nappy. So around a year, most kids, give or take three months, most kids will need this booster added. So I'll show you how to use that in a second. Um, so let's fold this in three. Now you've got two choices. You can fold with the micro fleece layer on top and that's lovely and soft and stay dry for a bub. Um, or if you'd prefer natural fabrics against the baby, or if you're t near toilet training and want them to feel the wetness, you can fold it so the mic so the bamboo cotton blend is against bob. So let's fold that. And all you do is pop it in. How do I need to pee again? <laughs> Stop kicking me. Um, Seriously. Um, and we fold that up. We put it, put bob in it. Let's imagine. And then let's talk about the shell now. What you might notice if you've been doing your um, cloth nappy research is you'll notice there's no confusing rise snaps on these. This is because these are called a side snapping nappy. So through the magic of side snapping, um, we don't need to have rise snaps. So if you've got these on a six month old and a two year old, they're both still in nappies. You don't need to be going up and down with your rise snaps all the time. They're aesthetically, I really like side snapping nappies because I don't like when my print is interrupted with the side snapping nappies because you'll get a like a fold like that and your print gets all interrupted. No one wants that. Um, they're also really customizable on the fit. So do, 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 do. if you have a baby with a, with tiny little chicken legs, you can go on the tightest snap 
And then if they've got a big Buddha belly, you can go on the looser snap um, on the top. So that's really customizable. But the, honestly, the biggest thing to focus on with side snapping nappies is they're easy. They're dead easy to use. That's what I loved about them. I would always notice in my laundry if Ryan was teething and not sleeping well, my laundry would become all candies. I got to the point where I was just like, I, screw this, I can't deal with anything else. I just want nappies. Um, I just want candies. I just wouldn't touch anything else. And they're also really great to hand to grandparents, carers, daycare providers. Ryan went to family daycare and he, um, his provider had never used cloth nappies before. We sent candies. She had no problem. I actually made a little daycare fit guide, which has been very popular. We've had some good feedback about that. Um, they are a really good carer nappy. Um, they just... They're really, really easy to use when kids start crocodile rolling and stuff. They don't have a fiddly fit. You can fit them pretty mediocrely and they still work. Is mediocrely a word? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and they still fit. They're, they're not a fiddly fit. You can just slap them on there. And that's what I, after trying a bunch of different nappies, that was really what it came down to is candies are damn easy to use. And that is what I focus on with them. Now, booster, and then we'll answer some questions. Seriously, it's headbutting my bladder. <laughs> um, do you it. need to pee again? No, I'm I can good. And then go, I can go the, the difference between the... Yeah, let me do this and, and then I'll tap okay. you. Yeah. yeah. For those who haven't been here the whole time, I peed at the beginning of the video. Um, but 33 weeks pregnant and I don't have a room left for my organs. <clears throat> so um, this is our booster. So the booster adds... So Vicky, I've got two layers. Yep. And two layers. In the, in yep. the booster. So we've got two layers. So when we fold that in three, we end up with six layers. I can do math. Uh, six layers in the trifold and then this one when you fold it you add another six layers together so really targeted absorbency and a lot of absorbency so Ryan didn't need boosting until he was 15 months he's a he's on the light wedding side my friend's daughter needed boosting from about nine months so and they're about the extremes so basically we say 12 months give or take a little bit so for a boy fold it in half pop it at the front like that for a girl, fold it in half and pop it underneath like that. And that gives you your targeted absorbency. Now, if you have a kid who's a, like I was blessed with a slightly light wetter um, and you're lazy, you can just put that in there when you're doing your laundry, fold it up in there and you're all good to go. And that's your nappy. So that booster is really the magic things that gives this the longevity to last all the way from that kind of like three to six month mark all the way to toilet training. So. These are a really great workhorse nappy. They come in minky and pee well, which there's no difference as, um, functionally between those, just aesthetically. Karen, if you haven't done it, can you link the minky and pee well blog? Um, Cause that's a much, we can't focus properly to show you here, but there's a really good video about that. Um, they come in a range of amazing prints. We get new prints every few months, depending <laughs> on, you know, the annihilation of the world. <laughs> depending on world annihilation, we, we get prints. Um, but we have lots of prints in stock at the moment. Like really we have like some really gorgeous stuff in stock and we've got a good variety in stock and there are plenty in stock, no panic buying, no FOMO, we've got them. Um, but there is Expo specials online at the moment. So I won't put that on. And they what? come with bonuses. Oh yeah. And there's like really good bonuses, like pods and extra nappies and stuff like that. When do the Expo specials go to? Uh, 27th. 27th, which is Thursday, which is Thursday yeah. we think. Yeah. Um, so the expo specials go to the 27th. So have a look, check them out. They're really fantastic. Now I'm going to go pee because there okay. uh, is I'll a human headbutting me. <laughs> so um, Ira, the difference between the version one and the version two delights, I know there's not much. Okay, so what, uh, so the version one, they used to be, they're still bamboo velour, but they had bamboo jersey on the inside. Um, and so what we would find is that they were an incredibly delicate nappy, which means that um, if you were like, even just, you know, they wouldn't, they, they were, um, you couldn't, you, you couldn't keep doing that with them though. Um, they just didn't have the stability on the inside. Also the insert, this is actually an unwashed one. Um, it just, again, when it was washed, it kind of went a bit, mm, just, you know, not the high quality that, you know, kind of our products are made to. So um, we'll see, this one's actually missing a snap. I don't think it was actually snapped in the first place. That's why it was in my faulty box. Um, and they also had the second um, piece. So this was um, bamboo velour and two layers of bamboo jersey. So absorbency wise, 
they've they very very slightly increased in absorbency but it's more the functionality so these when you actually feel the two of them together this is a lot sturdier um, because what we've done is put a um, I'm giving away all of my secrets here on how to manufacture nappies but anyway whatever um, We've actually put a, uh, a bamboo flannel on the inside. So what that actually does is that stabilizes it. Um, when you've got three stretchy fabrics together, it's actually really, um, really soft and unstable. When you um, put a woven on the inside, it really stabilizes um, those snaps. So that was the first thing that we did. The second thing that we did was simplify it. So instead of having um, bamboo jersey, we changed it out to bamboo fleece. So you've got a couple of layers of bamboo fleece but still um, the bamboo velour and also we seamed it as well so um, that actually holds the trifold um, in place uh, just better than you know essentially to be a couple of pieces of fabric all um, sewn together so they were the big differences um, between the version ones and the version twos um, so I've got yeah. both and they wear so much better. Oh, they do. Like they do. Well. And yeah. actually, you sewed a couple of these for me. I did. Yeah. Oh, so, uh, yeah, look, I've had a few Because um, I can't sew a straight that, line. Yeah, I had a few customers that just wanted that, um, me just to sew them, um, the seams down. So, because what, what happens when you do that, instead of the fabric going all like this in the washing <coughs> machine, it's only going like, you know, that tiny little spot. So, By um, and that was she customer. Means whiny staff members. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no, no. I have actually done some the other way as well. So, um, oh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. So that's why we um, have actually changed it, and that came from customer feedback. So again, when you do actually give feedback, we listen absolutely, one hundred percent, listen to your feedback. Um, but <laughs> just be kind, because some people aren't very kind. Sometimes. When did version two come out? Oh, ooh, it's been a while. It's less than Ryan. But it's it's well over <laughs> but yeah, it's, eighteen months. Yeah, yeah. 18 months that sounds or so. about right. Yeah. Um, what I'd probably do, I maybe, might maybe do some two years. Yeah, it could be close to two years. Because he's three. He's three. He's been toilet trained for six yeah. months. Yeah. Um, and my and my version two, ones I got were old ones. They were floor stock, not as in yeah. floored, as in you found them on the floor. And oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was something wrong with them, and she found them yes. on the floor. Oh, oh, you know, something these. like missing a snap. Yeah, yeah, look yeah. how old that one is. Can we see this? Uh, I was missing snaps. Can you fix them for me? That is what? the old logo. Yeah, yeah, look. See, it's really hard to make progress. That's, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, that's, that's actually right. um, that's our original. No, no, that's not even my original. No, no, that's, that's, not that's the original. one before that's we rebranded to this that's one. So, yeah. But anyway, that's the difference between the ones and twos. And this will get donated to someone one day. Yes. We send them overseas usually. Yep. Okay, so um, were there any other questions that we Well, I haven't got that to Okay, let's go. I'm still on camera. This is really off putting. <laughs> oh, how do I know which type I have? Okay, uh, where'd that one go? Basically, if it's three pieces or two yeah. pieces. Basically, if you have this extra little booster, this extra little booster, um, you have a version one. And if you don't have an extra little booster, you have a version two. And also the sewing. That was, did that go. Were they um, all version two sewn? The, uh, yeah, see, I can tell the difference. Yeah, I was um, going to say, if you're holding both, fabric. you can feel the difference. If you're yeah. holding both, but the sewing into segments, was that oh, all yeah, the version yeah, twos? Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, yeah on okay. the tri-fold. Yeah, that's the tri-fold. Right. Right. I was going to say, it's very easy to tell if you have both because the version ones are a lot, uh, the inserts are a lot thinner. Um, but if you don't have both in your hands, it can be hard. Where did they go? Um, Um, the so other way to tell is, is sewn. yeah, if you've got a trifold that has, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and it also has three <laughs> sewn, yes. Mm -hmm. And if this yeah. one has, it's not sewn, then that um, that means that you have a version one. So that should be easy to pick. And if, honestly, if you're stuck, send us a picture. <laughs> we will help you. Based on the color, usually. Yeah, we can. Yeah, honestly, we can probably tell from the color because the bamboo velour is really hard to get, so we often get rotating colors because it's what we can get at hands on am i giving away trade secrets yeah okay so i think we're caught up on questions is there any questions we missed no. there thanks i have a, oh uh, she has a version i think there was actually i was gonna say katrina i know the age of your kid i'd be very surprised if you had a version one unless you bought it um second hand um we're just going back through i think yeah, yeah, yeah. no that's it cool okay except brielle says hi jenny <laughs> 
<laughs> That's because Brielle's adorable. She likes Jenny. Um, so, uh, we're going to wrap this up soon. We're not doing it as detailed as the last few ones. because. Oh, we did ask, um, Katrina was asking about free folds because they're cheap. Cool. So yeah, actually. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a moment to get on my cotton prefold soapbox. Yes. Can I get on my soapbox? There, there is actually a cotton prefold there. Thank you. I noticed that. <laughs> um, so we do two types of prefolds. Actually, we do three types of prefolds. Is that right? Three. Um, Seems to be four, but anyway. What's the four? Wait. Um, <laughs> See, this is what she does. She says these things. I don't know what she's talking about. Um. Uh, so these are actually out, I need to get one of these, I don't have one. The stretchy hemp prefolds um, and the stretchy bamboo prefolds. They look pretty much the same. The hemp is a bit more absorbent, the bamboo is a little softer. It and it's a lot more expensive too because it's a more natural fiber. Wait, which one's so more the, expensive? The hemp? Yeah, they're eighteen yeah. ninety five versus yeah. yeah, these are about five bucks more expensive too. They are more absorbent. Um, hemp is a great fabric. It's very, very durable. Hemp has very few downsides except for a little bit more rough. Um, but even these are quite soft. Um, I just know how soft that's the bamboo ones half, are. It's half hemp. It's 50-50. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 45 Well, I don't think... Can you get stuff that's like 100% hemp? No, no, yeah. no. You yeah. wouldn't want to wear it. It'd be like... Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, ew, it's no. a 50-50 mix. Yeah. Um... Uh, so which ones are on their way and can we say that? Yes, you can. Which one? Bamboo? The, because they left Singapore this morning. Yes, Bam bamboo. Bamboo. So bamboo prefolds are a little low in stock, but they should get here. Tomorrow. Yes. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, they yeah, left Singapore. They'll, they'll They've been sitting in Singapore. So, and they got um, a... They'll land hmm. any minute now and they will, they will scoot through customs. So we'll get them. Yay. So we can actually sell those now. Um, so those are really great. So they give, they're stretchy. They give a really great fit for a newborn. They're really customizable in that way. They're really great. Let's talk about my love. Now, Vicky, Vicky loves the stretchy ones. Oh, I love a cotton prefold. These things are How are you going to the new one, which is actually a bamboo cotton blend? It's not stretchy. It's like that. Give it to me and I'll play. Button. Give it to me and I'll play. Um, you do? I do. This is a conversation we can have off camera. <laughs> 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 uh, let's focus on what we're doing. Um, is it th are these 242 as well? Mm -hmm. three, 363. Uh, depends. It could actually be 282 or 424. It depends on the size. Each size is actually Oh, each size is different. So, okay, so yeah. the important thing, if you don't know what a prefold is, let's say this. The important thing about a prefold is this middle section has a lot more absorbency sewn into it than the outside section. So it's called a prefold as in it's prefolded from a flat. So flats are all one piece. I do you like my new system? The flats are all one piece and you have to fold it to get the absorbency in the middle. Prefold. <laughs> <laughs> prefolds, pre they've already done that for you, so that's fantastic. I love these things. I used a prefold as a night nappy for Ryan for ages before I finally switched to Bamboo Delights. I really like them. Um, so the easiest fold to do is you fold it in three to do your angel wing fold, and you pull out the back, pull out the back, and then I used to tuck this down and make a little poo pouch, or if you got a little boy like I do, you can fold this up so you got all that absor extra absorbency at the front like that bring your wings over you've got your snappy and you've got a really really easy not as hard as a flat dead cheap option for nappies i think prefolds prefolds are really popular in america they're not as popular in australia and i really want to push them because i think they're a fantastic choice these are cotton prefolds which means they're super duper durable um they last and last and last like you can see they have no stretch in them but i've always found i can get a pretty good fit with them i did use them as a night nappies not day nappies so much but also when you get to the point where you don't want to be putting them around, you can just tri-fold it and pop that in a candy. Or it's extra boosting for a night nappy. They are absolutely flexible cleaning cloths later. Um, when my son was toilet training, these were fantastic. I'd pop them on the floor and stand on them and then that's how I'd get all the wee up out of the carpet or anything like that. Kids are fun. Um, they're just really, really useful for so many different things. I really love cotton prefolds and they are dirt cheap. How much we is also it? had a, a question about shrinkage, and you know, see, I think this is, I, I think this is, um, a, I think she split her name, and I'm not 100 percent sure, so I'm not going to um, call out her name because I don't want to look like a dick. Mm. So um, she's actually asked how much shrinkage over time, and I think it's a really good, um, it was a really good question. It's about 10 to 15 percent for the bamboo. Mm -hmm. Um, all of all of the, all of the, um, uh, sorry for the bamboo prefolds. Um, all of our products are designed to shrink 
And that's how they actually increase in absorbency. Yeah, and, and they are made to be. That's why we're, whenever we're doing demos, the um, the inserts are slightly too big because they're made too big so that they shrink to the right size. That is not an accident. And this is one I believe that has been washed only once. So it's definitely not done shrinking yet. But as you can see, it's, wait, am I, is it? Yeah. Is it the one I thought it was? You can tell it's washed. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah, what, yeah, yeah, that's the one that's washed. So you can see, you won't be able to see on the camera here, but this, this stitching is starting to shrink up and you can see it shrunk about a centimeter. That's only had one wash. And let me just make sure I separate these correctly. Um, and here you can see the booster. Again, one wash, it's shrunk about a centimeter. That will shrink more. But all of our products are made to shrink on 10, purpose. 10 to 15% no, is, is 10 to 15%, yeah. yeah. Um, they mat up, and that's how the absorbency opens up. That's how they become more absorbent and fit really, really well. Um, uh, yes. Just how do cotton prefolds shrink compared to the stretchy ones? Which ones, sorry? The cottons compared to the stretchy oh, prefolds. The cotton, cotton actually cotton, stretchy. Yeah. Shrinks Ooh. a lot more Ooh. than bamboo. Karen. Um, I've got there is some at a home. Andrew could go measure them. He's gone back home. Oh no, no there's a blog I've written with oh, photos yeah. of a shrunken prefold. I'm sure there is. I might be hallucinating. Karen, can you see if there's it's like called how to prep prefolds or something like that. The new um, website, I've actually got a lot of this information on there of you know, pictures of before question. and after and um, absorbency. Yeah. Like the different, yeah. like we've got cotton ones. charts and stuff like that, so yeah. you can choose. Yeah, new website coming soon. Cotton ones come yeah, quite flat and thin, <laughs> and they, shh, we're being optimistic. Um, and <laughs> as, you, as you wash them a few times, they really fluff up inside and make sure that they're really quite absorbent and soft. That is a great question. Is it recommended um, to stretch them prior to hanging after a wash? I don't I know. Don't flick them. I was about to say, I... I wouldn't say we don't have the curling problem on these as much as some other brands do. I do notice if I go in the dryer, sometimes I have a little curling on my um, boosters, but not a lot. But I don't think I'm trying to think like it's been a long time since I hung out laundry. I don't think I stretch them, and I don't think I don't think you do any damage stretching them as long as you're not like. Let's be realistic. Don't be violent with it. No, no, but if you just give it a little damage tug. To elastics and PUL, mm. you pretty much can't damage unless yeah. you're actually like scrubbing the crap out of them yeah. with some like soap or something yeah. like that, and like or like a brush them. or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if you give them a little, give them a little tug like that as you hang them up. I used to do a flick. Like Vicky said, a flick and hang it like that. Guess um, what I used to do? Put it in nothing. Your husband would do it. And he put it in the dryer. And he put it in the dryer. Um, I was going to say something and now it's gone. <laughs> you may forget what it was. Oh yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. What you really do need to watch as far as stretching goes is if you use the dryer, absolutely fine. But when you get out your covers, do not stretch your elastics out while they're still warm. You can really screw things up that way. Um, and also like with your covers, try not to hang them like harsh direct sunlight all day. For instance, like middle of Queensland summer for 10 hours outside, don't do that. It's not good for the PUL. Um, and the elastic because... And the elastic, yeah. The elastic is rubber and yeah. the um, what will break down rubber is bacteria and um, and heat. Yeah. And what is the nirvana for a nappy? It's, it's bacteria! Like Which is why we recommend really good washing. We can talk about washing in just a sec. Um, what I used to do uh, when I was in nappies was I'd uh, hang all my inserts out and then I'd go inside and just hang my covers over the edge of the washing basket and they'd dry inside in the time it took the inserts to dry outside. Honestly, ins covers dry really, really quickly. Um, if you want to hang them out in the line for an hour or two and then go grab them, do that. And honestly, if it's winter and stuff, it's not so bad, but just like, let's be honest, it's Australia, there's some harsh sunlight here and you want to protect your covers and keep them in a good situation and in good situations off the right <laughs> Oh, and I can, I you know, after going to Europe mm -hmm. and using their sunscreen, yes, Australia has harsh sun, sun yeah. because they have no idea what sunscreen yeah. is all yeah. about. Yeah, if you're watching us in the UK, go ahead and hang yours outside in the sun, yeah. that's fine. <laughs> what, you, what you call sun is not what we call sun. Yeah, yeah, no. um, but yeah, just look after your covers a little bit. That's where more of the delicate stuff is. These are pretty hardy. These, these are pretty hard to break. Um, let's talk about washing really quickly because I was going to make this shorter. That's not succeeding. Is that's it? Right. Um, that's okay. If I if I take this out a little bit longer, I can get past my son's bed, so past my son's <laughs> dinner time, and walk in just as he's about to go to bed and be like lovingly give him a hug and tell him I love him after his dad has had to deal with his sh stuff all day. I, I dropped an F bomb. I 
I just haven't got the C bomb yet. Oh, so no, no, that's fine. That's fine. I mean, I love my child. I want to be with him all the time. He's not in daycare, and my parents aren't here, and I have no help, and I'm with him five days a week at the moment and 33 weeks pregnant. I'm allowed to avoid him on work. Um, where was it? <laughs> Washing. 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 Washing and FAQs. No. So get your little, Ooh. you know, some some yep. some random talented, um, no, I actually got a pretty untalented person doing an FAQ. I just adjusted my, my undies on camera. I just realized. What? <laughs> I just adjusted my undies. <laughs> It didn't flash it on me. No, it didn't flash. That would have been a lot. More effort. Um, is that a question? Can you use a Bam Bam without a snap if you use a cup of water? Yes. Yes, you absolutely can do that. There is. Is there a video of that? Um, Karen. I don't know what that one's called. Have fun. Um, it was Brock and it was when he was six days old. Oh, so really early Brock ones. Um, yes, you can absolutely use a Bam Bam and a prefold also, by the way, um, without a cover if you're not liking snappies or you can't find one or... You just don't want to. You no, want to be a like rebel. Ties, you lose them. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they are. And you know what you do? You lend them to your damn friend, and then you don't know why you have no snappies. And one day she comes over and hands you like four snappies, and you're like, "That's where they were." Jessica, I'm talking about you. Um, so yeah, same with a prefold. You can pop it on, lay it in your cover. Absolutely. Lay it in the cover. Put Bob in there, and then use the cover to do it up and hold it in place. It won't be quite as bulletproof. Like keep that in mind because you're not getting the but tightness of the move. elastics. They don't move. Newborns yeah, yeah. Don't move. Oh yeah, if they're tiny, tiny newborns, they don't move. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, you can absolutely do that. And I will say, we're not gonna recommend this per se, but I, anecdotally, I know a few people who have used Bam Bams like literally in the first week here, we're talking very, very tiny bubs, um, have used Bam Bams without covers as well. And Bub just wasn't peeing quite through it. And it was a summer baby. So that's also an it option is a, too. Do you know what? It's about expectations, understanding mm. that it's completely absorbent. So yeah. you know, So if they do a big wee, you're going to get wee on you. But let's face it, you're about to have a lot of bodily fluids on you. I was holding my friend's um, baby the other day. and Oh, no, no, it was Teddy. He was slobbering on my leg. And I was like, Oh yeah, I forgot they're really sticky. <laughs> like my toddler's not a terribly sticky kid. I forgot how how many bodily fluids all the little ones have. Yay. Now, let's do some washing and then we'll do the FAQ. Um so washing nappy is the way we like to say it is it's not as hard as you think it is. Um the washing machine does all the work for you. That's the trick. And Karen will link a video of me doing my washing. Um I don't I look much better now than I do in that video. I didn't bother doing my hair or makeup in that video. Um, and you can see I do my washing in under two minutes. It's not hard. So let's just talk about poo removal quickly. Now we do have a lot of people who say they're scared of doing cloth because they don't want to deal with poo. Fun fact, if you're having a kid, you're dealing with poo. I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you. Um, and did you know disposables, you're actually meant to scrape the poo into the toilet and then throw the, the nappy into the bin because you're not meant to be, put human excrement in the in landfill but no one does that um but you're going to deal with poo one way or another if you have a kid and if you have cloth if you use cloth nappies the chance of you having a poo explosion and poo being everywhere in the or like up the kid's back and in the car way way slimmer slim the chance of that is way slimmer because the elastics are just stronger and they're better well they're better made they're not those thin elastics that are disposable so Let's talk about poo removal very quickly. You can have a sprayer in your laundry or in your toilet. They are sold out of Bunnings as far as I know at the moment um, because everyone's crazy. Um, you can also use a spatula. There's a Kmart brush that's really popular. Um, you can use a spoon. Please label these things and keep them in your laundry um, or a toilet. Or if you're lucky, you might have a kid as soon as they get onto solids, they're doing ploppable poos and you literally plop it in the toilet and you're done. I have a friend like that, I'm very jealous. Um, <clears throat> but she also accidentally rolled a poo onto the floor once, <laughs> um, <laughs> mid nappy change. So once you've got the poo off, you just pop it in your dry pail. And if it's a pee nappy, it can go straight in the dry pail. What is a dry pail? I hear you say a dry pail is just a laundry basket. Basically. Um, it is a, uh, laundry basket with lots of airflow. You want lots of holes and airflow around it. I know it sounds really counterintuitive, but Having a closed environment will make everything smell a lot worse, and it's made, it's really bad for your nappies too. Um, there we go. Karen's linking the Kmart poo brush. Go her. Um, and um, words I'm saying. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, and you don't want to soak anymore. Um, nappy sand used to have. Uh, 
chlorine bleach in it and now has oxygenated bleach in it and it's not antibacterial anymore. You're just making poo soup by soaking them and it's really bad for your elastics and your PUL and really bad for anything with uh, bamboo in it as well. And it's a drowning hazard for bobs. So we just don't need to do that anymore. So just dry pail, an airy dry pail. You can see it in that video. Um, Sorry, hiccups. Um, an airy dry pail, you can see it in that video um, of me doing my laundry, you can see. Mine is metal, don't use metal, use plastic. Um, it'll leave rust stains on your nappies. Um, so lots of airflow, you won't get smells. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, I know when I was pregnant with my first, I was like, how does that not smell? And But th they're right, it does. As long as you have airflow, you're all good. Um, and then to actually wash them, what you do is a two-step wash routine. Um, and that just means they're washed twice. The reason for that is the first wash, the pre-wash, which you do with a small amount of detergent and some decent agitation and you do a separate wash on your thing. If you're confused at all about this, we have much more information on the website. I don't want to overwhelm anyone right now. And you can come on chat or email us at bb at bubblebubs.com.au and we can help you with personalized wash um, routines and information because I am a laundry dork and so is Karen. Vicky doesn't like laundry so much, she makes Andrew do it. But we're all over the laundry and we love talking cloth nappy laundry because we need lives, clearly. The sun is in my face right now. Um, so. Oh, yeah, oh can you fix it? Video, which is really hard on the find, it's about to go for <laughs> um, So, uh, your first wash, basically, what is the benefit of pre-washing versus soaking? Perfect. What is the benefit of pre-washing versus soaking? Soaking's bad for the nappies, doesn't achieve anything, and pre-washing gets them clean. Uh, that is the benefit. <laughs> so, is that gonna go too dark? Ooh, I look all mysterious, wait, wait. Is that too dark, guys? Oh, it might be, actually. Yeah, I might open that one. Yeah. Oh, that one's oh, on well, the that's worse. Yeah, it's over there. No, 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 that's okay. I'll step to one side, open them back up, and I'll just step to this side of the video. Okay. I can, oh. look, I can go like this. It's not too bad, okay. actually. That's not too bad, I think. Yeah. Close enough. We're nearly done anyway. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds getting bad, so we'll wrap up soon. Um, anyway, uh, pre-washing, you get the agitation, you get detergent in there, and it really gets out that ugh um, so that your main wash is done in clean water. All soaking really achieves is, like, breeding bacteria. There we go. All soaking really achieves is breeding bacteria. Um and letting your nappies sit in it and soak. And it's really, really bad. If you're using, for, for instance, bam bams, it's really bad for the elastics. Like Vicky said, heat and bacteria is the enemy of elastics and that is just a bacteria soup. Um, <coughs> so you really, <coughs> so you really don't want to do that. Um, you really don't want to be coughing on I know, I know, but I've been talking for like four hours today. I know. I'm just terrified of coughing. I know, I'm scared. Uh, Casey sneezed the other day in public. He has this thing, it's a genetic thing, you sneeze in sunlight, your the blood vessels restrict in your nose and you sneeze in sunlight. His dad does it and Ryan does it. He stepped into the sun and sneezed and I was like, that's not allowed anymore, don't do it. <laughs> Actually, truth is he's a vampire and he just wasn't, it was his way of telling you. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, so whereas a pre-wash, you do it with detergent, you do it with warm water, agitation in your machine, you get everything going, 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 and then you drain it out, and then it's not sitting in that. So that's where pre-wash is great. So pre-wash means that your main wash is done in clean water. So what you do is you put your pre-wash on, done that, open it up, and then you chuck in, you bulk, um, chuck in the kids' clothes, chuck in socks, jocks, nursing tanks, tea towels, spew cloths, my kid was spewy. Anything kind of tea towel size or smaller is fantastic. Don't put hubbies like big long jeans in, they wrap around things, it's a bad idea. But small things, bulk, and that used to cover all of my son's um, clothes washing as well. I never had to wash any, do any extra loads for him. And then you put your main wash on, which if you've got a front loader will be decently long. You use a full dose, use good quality detergent and warm water, not cold please. Um, and use a full dose of the heavy soiled amount, it'll say on the box. So um, if you're in a place with hard water like Brisbane, uh, Omo powder is fantastic. Um, if you're in uh, a place with soft water. Like a lot of the UK, Persil. Yeah. Persil. I think Persil oh, is good. Persil? I don't remember all the UK ones, but I know like uh, Tasmania, South Australia, all those are all soft water and I'm pretty sure um, the Biozet powder, and then basically any of the liquids is good for soft water. So Omo, uh, Dynamo, any of those liquids are really good. Just use the amount for the heavy soil load because you want more of it. Um, 
and then hang all out sparkling clean and you do it again. Um, like uh, Karen said in one of the links she posted, I do my laundry in that video in under two minutes. The, um, the washing machine does it for you. It sounds a little complicated while you're trying to work out how to do it, but honestly, as soon as you've got that system set up, it's like, it's, uh, what's it called? Like you've got a routine and you just do it you, without thinking. It's so easy. It's like cooking um, dinner every night. It takes yeah. longer to cook dinner. Yep. And kids want to get oh, fed. Oh, way longer to cook today. Yeah, they always want to get oh. fed. It's very annoying. Um, but yeah, honestly, if you're a little overwhelmed about the whole wash thing, reach out to us. We're happy to help. We love nappy laundry because we're dorks. So we're always here to help with that. Um, do we have any other questions before we go? Oh, I'll do that um, no, FAQ card. No. The only thing on the FAQ card I haven't done yet is how many nappies. So 24 to 36 is the, is the quick answer. Uh, basically to work it out, how many nappies you need a day how many days you're going to go before you wash and a day for drying. So just say you have a newborn, they're gonna go through about 10 to 12 nappies a day, sorry. Um, and you wanna wash every second day and you need a day to dry, you need 36 nappies. If you're gonna wash every day, you can get away with 24 nappies. It's a little tight, but definitely doable to save money. I did it if, on 18, so it's absolutely yeah. doable. Yeah, yeah. Um, if you are, um, if you are late to the game, you have a like one eight, one year old, eighteen month old, and you're wanting to start cloth. You know how many kids, you're, how many nappies your kid goes through a day. Work that out and time <clears throat> times it by two or three, depending if you want to wash every day or every second day. If you want an answer, a dozen. By the time they yeah. get one, a dozen is you know. Again, yeah. Vicky and I will have this argument day and night. We have sat on planes in airports having this argument. Her kids like were really low pooers, and she could get away with so few nappies. Ryan was pooing three or four times a day you, until the toilet candy, train. You can always re, um, oh yeah, the I'm a big fan of reusing the inserts. Reuse I used to shirt. reuse the don't reuse the inserts. That's a bad idea. Reuse the shirts. Oh, Go away, Vashti. Far out. She's not watching the live. <laughs> She's fired. Yes. You don't employ her. Um, <laughs> you can buy extra inserts and reuse your shells a couple of times. Just hang it over the change table. Change baby, next nappy, came back and come back and use this one you've aired out. As long as it hasn't got poo all over it or a lot of wee in the elastics, you can get a few uses out of your shell if you're trying to save money. I used to do that all the time until Ryan was about 18 months old. Then he used to wee a bit too much for me to be able to do that. And then I, when I went to the laundry, I did a sniff test. Oh, nope, that's going in the wash. Or you could reuse them a few. I used to get three or four uses out of mine. And because they come complete as well, um, mm. don't forget oh, oh, yeah. two nappies equals oh, three. I forgot that. I yeah. forgot Actually, that. you can probably do that um, so you can wind it up like with the gel yeah. pack pricing. So, yeah. yeah, yeah, just to make it. Um, so if you do have a few nappies and you are reusing your shells, remember that two boosters equals one trifold. So if you're not using your boosters yet, you have a whole extra nappy there just by doubling up a booster like that. So that's really good. I totally forgot that. Yeah. Okay. It's a great money saver too. Mm. Let's wind up and do the trial packs. Here we go. Okay, so really good place to start. Oh my God, I've not got a clean I'm word. I'm so going to tag her and I bet she's going to go up. <laughs> um, really good place to start. This is on our website. I know you can't see it here, but have a look. Um, go to the website. There's a banner at the top that says Expo Specials. Click on that and you can see our trial packs. They're a really good place to start. We really like, um, we really don't like overselling products. We like to let everyone try them, see if they like them. We have a nappy guarantee. Um, so basically what that means is you can try the nappy for about two weeks, up to, up to two weeks, and then you can return it and get your money back if it isn't love. That's one nappy that can be used. You can't wash them all and then try and return them. Um, but you can try one nappy for up to two weeks and return it here um, and get your money that. back. That was me, that was my comment. Don't read it. No, no, I'm, um, but, no, it's actually the sun in my face, it's showing me. Um, but the important thing uh, to remember is we do that because we're arrogant and because we love our product and because we know our product is good. You're arrogant. Oh, Vicky's very arrogant. She's also a liar while she's at it. <laughs> um, but the reason we do that is because it's a good product and we don't get a lot returned to us and people love them. If we got them all returned to us, we couldn't have that. But that's how much we stand behind our product is we do have that nappy guarantee. Um, and there's some details about it that either Karen or Vicky is linking right now. So you can read more about that. Now let's look at the trial packs really quickly. So we have for $59, you can get two Bam Bams, a newborn cover and a snappy, everything you need to get Bam Bams a go. And they come with a $20 voucher to buy more Bam Bams if you like them. That's the great part of all these trial packs is they come with extra vouchers. Um, then there is, and you, you got lucky here because we were going to do a price rise on this one uh, because it's $3. 
Um, <laughs> but then... Don't, because, don't make me cry again, please. Okay. Sorry, Vicky's going to cry. Um, but because... Ooh, I'm trying to get out of the sun. Um, but because the... Um, because we've had to go online, because it's all gotten messed up, we've decided to look, keep this lower. So this is... $49 for two pebbles and comes with a $20 voucher to buy more pebbles. So that one is fantastic as well. And this one is my very, very favorite is $59 for two candies. And it comes with a $50 voucher if you like them to buy more. So what that means is if you like them and you buy more, you got two candies for nine bucks, which is ridiculous. So that's really good. They're really good places to try. And if you like them, then you can grab more or if you've already tried them, know you love them, or you just want to dive in, have a look on our website. We've got great candy packs at the moment, all sorts of things, great Bam Bam packs, part-time, full-time, all the things. Um, but take note if there are, don't go, you don't have to go through them, but there are some terms and conditions with the vouchers, so with minimum purchases and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, there are all terms and conditions with the vouchers. They're not just free for- Just in case someone comes yeah. back to this video and says, You're right. they're not. They're not free for all. You have yeah. to use the candy voucher on more candies. Yeah. You have to buy at least six. There's The terms and conditions are all on the website. I have faith in you to read them um but yes you're right um so have a look around on the expo specials the banner at the top of the website like we said come on chat and say hi to us we're here to help if you don't know what nappies you want if you're confused if i've made no sense at all come on michelle can talk to you she might make more sense than i do um or if you just want us to tell you what yeah if you just want us to tell you give us your phone number we'll call you back and we'll just tell you what to buy we love bossing people around we're both all very bossy here um, and if you want to email later, bb at bubblebubs.com.au and we're all happy to help. We're big believers of bums and cloth. If you already have some and you're having trouble making them work, we're here to help. If you have some and want to work out how to use those in with what we've already got, we're here to make all those work. We are... Um, yeah, because wasn't it you that mentioned yesterday that peepods, if you've got peepods, mm, peepods, yeah. trifolds, fit peepods, candy, by the way, because I, I had peep, oh, peepods were one of the ones I bought to try. But I, could, I, couldn't make the sh I couldn't make the shells work for the life of me, but the oh. inserts are fantastic. And the inserts, by the way, the snaps are like the exact same distance apart as a candy. Yeah, so we'll just so they sell snap these, in a trifold. Yeah, we'll sell these shells. Yeah. We won't sell you complete nappies. And exactly. We're not big proponents of overselling people. We want to help you use what you've already got. Um, and we do genuinely need this. Vicky's a terrible businesswoman. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> we're bad sales people and we're bad sales people but we sleep at night with good consciences but yeah um and karen is has an encyclopedic knowledge of nappies she is fantastic so we're all here to help and you'll get michelle karen me vicky we're all cloth moms you won't and get karen next week I'm you won't get ready. karen next week she has stuff going on um <laughs> but we're all here i'm mediumly on maternity leave but i'm not doing a great job of it so far um and vicky's all here we're all here to help everyone so just contact us we're happy to troubleshoot we're happy to just tell you what to do um but yes we are all here and we uh hope you enjoyed this over the weekend we're really sorry we couldn't see you all in person we're trying to do the smart thing and the safe thing for everyone um please for the love of god stay home stay home stay if you can if you can protect our people we have people we love who are um who work in hospitals and are doctors and have to be there and have uh, nurses and have to be there and pe my friend who works as a gp and has to go to work to help people let's protect them by staying at home um karen will be back by wednesday um, <laughs> and um they have to go to work so let's protect them if you can stay home do um and we will talk to you about cloth nappies over the phone yeah do you want to come say okay. come say things vicky yeah. come say, say things, things. Bye. <laughs> How's that for a thing? I think I'll go pee No, again. no, because if I say anything, I'll cry. Okay. Because, she, yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. going to cry again, and I'm going to pee yeah, no, again. So, so. Um, th yeah, actually, thanks for your support, everybody who has um, come and uh, watched the lives, and anyone who is actually seeing mm. this after the lives, um, just because some of the information might be a little bit old, like with pricing right. and stuff like that. None of the actual like stuff we've told you is um yeah it's change, just the pricing so, that changes yeah. nothing else yeah. and shout out to I'm, I'm gonna do another shout out mm -hmm. to our all our awesome husbands yeah. jamie who's looking after ford so karen can work today andrew's got your kids ryan casey's you know i'm actually gonna say don't, it's not babysitting when they're your i didn't children. say babysitting i didn't say babysitting no they do no, they, they, they're stepping up and i, I do yeah. do if anyone ever says my husband is babysitting his yeah. kid but the 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 thing is i know i've had a rough week parenting all week and then working all weekend he's done that too well whereas andrew like, has actually because andrew mm, works mm. um here as well but the kids have been at school but yeah of course he works all weekend yeah. all week and then he yeah. has to deal with my it's 
Teenagers are awful. Oh, I thought you were going to say to deal with you. No. <laughs> I'm not exactly very nice to deal with either. So she's been nicer this week. Uh-huh. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, honestly, like we have the best well. families around us, yeah, and we, do. we have the best customers and the best community, and we're very, very lucky. And in- actually, that talking of the yeah. community, um, unfortunately, we do. <sighs> it, it is an invite only so um, oh. when you do um, purchase from Bubble Bubs and that includes mm-hmm. secondhand nappies as well um, you actually get an invite to um, well I don't Our know VIP how group. yeah I don't know how you get the invite when it's secondhand but anyway you, you, get, uh, you don't get it when you're secondhand but there's a lot of word of mouth and it gets mentioned in groups yeah. and stuff so keep in mind if you own Bubble Bubs if you buy from a retailer secondhand or from us you're all welcome we do keep it as customers only yeah. we don't have it we it's like to keep sm- it a small, sweet small yeah. group and it's you know what? It's and completely non-judgmental. Mm-hmm. Um, it's we my have a very space. non-judgment space, yeah. and within it's my our, space we were talking actually. about it the other day within our company. We have such a range of parenting styles, yeah. and I think that's why no matter what comes up, one of us is there to help. We've got everyone from just supporting a- co-sleeping to supporting sleep know, training. Exactly. We can cover all of this. I was actually <laughs> on, only just before I said on staff we have got um, a vegan, <laughs> a fitness trainer. Uh, what did we call you? Uh, in, that, in that conversation, I was an atheist. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, no, 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 an atheist. My mum's a minister, and um, um, Karen was the the crunchy mum. Oh yeah, Karen. And I'm like, holy hell, we could not Karen have is- we could not have a bigger range, a, 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 yeah. a, a broader family. Yeah. Than so, we do and that's why it's kind yeah. of like, no matter what comes up on our staff, there's someone who believes yep. wholeheartedly or supports something. Yep. So we have a very open policy and a very uh, supportive policy. Uh, yeah. within the company and within our customers yeah. but we have great we have yeah karen VIP doesn't use toilet doesn't. paper yeah <laughs> yeah she's a, she's the she's the crunchiest mm-hmm. of, of us all yeah um i am so, yeah. i think i can stand by and say i'm the least crunchy yeah probably yeah yeah that's right and um, excuse me while i go get my epidural <laughs> so anyway, anyway um yeah so the vip group is um it's a really safe place and it's a really lovely place and if you ever if you're looking for your tribe that's kind of yeah um, where it, it is but as i said it's my safe space because yeah. i mentioned at the beginning of the video that i'm not i'm not doing terribly well mentally i'm getting better but um you know those things you know i can shit i can about. share <laughs> hey what was that she said shit about <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah they like you know we, we, we've had people lose babies and you know kids in NICU and you know somebody struggling with breastfeeding somebody struggling with bottle feeding like we don't have any judgment whatsoever um you know it's it's a really nice group, yeah so yeah but yes yeah, that's a passive we, invite yeah. <laughs> It's we nice. have a we have a lovely community. We have great support. Like we started, I said at the video, our friends who already own our nappies, our friends who are way out of nappies, they're supporting us and they're here. Yeah. So we just want to say thank you. It's been a really fun weekend, and this is we tried to make the best out of a really crappy situation. And um, we, want we just want to thank stuff. everyone for supporting us and stay safe. And we're getting all of the orders out as quickly as possible, just in case anything happens. Oh, you should see that you haven't yeah. seen Rachel's this, so. worked her oh, butt off do. today and probably will work it off. In fairness, there's not a lot of butt there to work off. Left no, left. No, no, no. I will give her some. It's fine. Um, <laughs> you can give her some? Mm-hmm. Okay, we will give her yeah. some butt. Um, thank okay. you. We're trying okay. to say thank you. It's a very long-winded yes. way of saying thank you. Thanks, guys. Love you all. Bye.